Yulanzi and Komen has done it again. They came out with an even better tripod. That's right. I know a few weeks ago I reviewed the Yulanzi Zero Y and I said this is the best travel tripod. Well, guess what? Since then they came up with a new tripod. This is a Yulanzi and Komen Zero F38. And I also have the peak design here just so you guys can see a comparison on how small these tripods are. And I'm not going to compare it in depth with the Peak Design because I've done a comparison of the Zero Y against Peak Design and we determined that the Ulanzi one was better. If you want to see that video, I'll put it in the end of this video so you can see in detail why I like the Ulanzi tripod better. But for now, we will mostly focus on the two Ulanzi tripods, especially the new one, the F38. Now I will make sure I'll leave the links to these tripods and all the accessories I am going to show you in the description below. So if you do decide to purchase this, please use those links and coupon code SKYLER10 and that will give you 10% off. Now as a disclaimer, Yulanzi did send me this tripod for a review where this one, the Zero Y and all the accessories I am going to show you, I did purchase with my own money. That does not affect my opinion on it. I'm going to be honest and tell you what I like and what I don't like about it. Now let's focus on the Ulanzi tripod. If you've never bought a Ulanzi tripod before, they come in this uh, nice pretty box like that. And when you get it in the box, it also comes with this cover, this little bag that you can put it on. And it also has a strap if you need to carry it in the bag on your shoulder. And then Yulanzi also are including the spiky tripod feet. So, you know, if needed in rough terrain, you can change the feet instead of the rubber to have the spiky feet. Now in the box with the tripod, it comes with this little card that it shows you, you know, the weight and max height and all that stuff. I'll take a screenshot of this and put it into the screen so you can see it. I don't want to go through all the specs because you can read those for yourself online. So what's different? Why is the F38 better or is it better? Let's talk about it. At the first glance, when you look at them, they look exactly identical other than the head. They have exactly the same structure, the same round legs, the same clasps on the legs, five sections, four of these little clasps that you open. Very, very easy to deploy and very, very easy to collapse. As you can see, it's smooth, it's nice, very, handy. Now let's talk about the tripod head. There is a level over here and this will allow you to raise and lower the column. So I'm going to raise it a little bit. Then you have another level over here. And once you open this, it will open the range of motion for your tripod head, which is a bubble head and you can put it at a 90 degrees angle. So you can take portrait orientation images. And then when you are ready to lock it in the position, just close the lever just like that. You do have a bubble level right here on the side. The other Yulanzi tripod, the Zero Y, had the bubble lever on the top. So now it's on the side with this one. And then you also have this lever over here that you can lock and unlock. And this will allow you to create panoramas. It will allow you to turn the top so you can take beautiful panoramas. If you want to lock it, you just turn it. And there you go. Now it does not move. Now the biggest difference between these two tripods is their mount. The... Yulanzi Zero Y has an Arca Swiss plate and you just have to turn this knob in order to remove or secure the plate. Or the F38, it's a quick release system. Now this system is not new, Yulanzi had it for a while now, but they just finally um, built it into the tripod head. So now all you need to do in order to remove your camera is push the side button and you remove your camera or this plate in this case. And then to put it back, it goes in just as easy no effort at all. So again, removes really, really easy and it goes in just as easy. And now your camera is secure. You don't have to turn any knobs. It won't budge. It's there. It's safe. You know, it's locked. Now, if you are afraid that accidentally you will bump this button, don't worry. They thought about that too. You just have to pull out the button a little bit and turn it. And now it's locked. Now, even if you push on that button, it won't go anywhere and you cannot unlock it. This is just lock and safe and you can, you know, track through the woods with your camera and not be worried that accidentally it's going to get bumped and come out. And to unlock it, you just pull and turn again. And now there you go. Your plate is unlocked. 
So you can see the F38 could be very, very convenient, very easy to change. You just push the button, pull out the camera, and then put it back on. If you need to change your cameras from different tripod to tripod, or if you wanna put it on a gimbal or so on, this makes it so, so easy. I will try to get some close up of this so you can see how easy and smooth the action is. With the Yulanzi Zero Y, you have this hook on the bottom, which you have it on the F38 as well. But the hook over here, when you unscrew it, you get the tool. And this tool will help you tighten the legs if you need to, or if you need to replace the head, or to remove the column, and so on. The Yolanzi Zero Y, you can, you get two tools in one, you just have to flip this little thing. And that changed with the new tripod with the F38, and I will show you in a second. For the Yulanzi F38, you have the same hook, then you have a tool in here, but now the tool is different, it's just a hexagon, and this tool does everything on this tripod. All the screws for the legs, for to remove the column, oops, I'm sorry, I keep bumping this. So you only need one tool with the new tripod, so you don't need to flip that little thing. Not a big deal, I just, you know, worth mentioning. Now once you remove the hook with the tool from the bottom, you can open this lever and completely remove the column with a tripod head. And this is handy because in some situations, you might want to, you know, place your tripod head underneath. Let's see, there you go. So you might want to play, place it underneath like this. And this will allow you to have your camera really, really low to the ground for those, you know, hard to get macro shots or for those cinematic low um, to the ground video. Now you just have to remember to flip that and post if you decide to do this. Another way to get really low to the ground is to completely remove this column and just leave this because there is a connection over here where you can remove this large column and just leave this little knob with the tripod head. To remove the tripod head, it is very, very simple. All you have to do is to turn the tripod head into the portrait orientation like this, and that would reveal this hole over here where you have, um, you can put your tool in and you can release the column. So I'm going to do that right now just to show you how quick it is. And just like that, we removed the column from the tripod head. And now I can take the column off and just put the tripod head without that long column. And we can go really, really low to the ground now. So now that we have this very short column, we can get really low to the ground. So I'm gonna show you. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit clumsy, but a few weeks ago I had thumb surgery, so it's very hard for me to use my thumb. It's a little sore, so let's see. Just like that. And now we are really low to the ground. That is a big, big advantage, like I said, for macro shots, for video, and so on. To attach the column back, you do pretty much the same thing. For me, it's easier to just completely remove it. Let's see, I'm gonna turn this at 90 degrees so I expose the little screw in there. I'll put this column back in, and then just tighten it up. Really easy and fast, doesn't take any effort. There you go. Now when you buy this tripod, they also send you this column. This is a universal um, column that has this quarter inch screw, and now you can attach whatever tripod head you want in there. So that could be very, very handy. I don't think I will use it because I do like the one that it comes with. So I'm gonna put this one back in. And we'll talk about some really fun stuff right now. I'm going to show you some really, really neat stuff. Now let's secure this plate to my camera just so I can show you how easy it is to use. And then I will show you some other cool accessories that if you get this uh, tripod, I think you would really, really enjoy because they really work together awesome as a system. And now that I have the plate mounted onto my camera, it's just as easy as sliding in the camera and there you go, it's secure. To remove it, push the button, remove the camera. Again, we'll just go in, I'm not even looking at it, I don't see it, I just slide it in and it works, push the button, release it, no more turning little knobs. 
Now, if you're afraid that this button is going to accidentally get bumped, which I don't see how it will because it's protected by the camera, but if you're worried that this is going to accidentally get bumped and your camera will fall off, you can just pull a little bit and turn it and now it's locked. It's not coming down. Even if you push the button, it cannot be released to the camera. So to unlock it, pull again and twist it and now it's unlocked and you can just remove the camera very, very easy. Now I am going to show you three accessories that I think is going to be a complete game changer when it comes to the F38 tripod. The first one I want to show you is the F38 quick release system. Yes, you can buy this separately, just like this. They are very affordable. And what this is, is just a quick release system that is based, uh, built into this tripod head. And it works the same way. It has a base and it has a plate and you can push the button and remove the plate. And you might say, oh, why do I need this if I already have this tripod? Well, here is where it comes handy. If you are like me, you probably have more than one tripod. So let's say you have the Zero Y or any other tripod that is Arca Swiss compatible. What you can do, you can take this uh, quick release system because it is Arca Swiss compatible over here. You can just attach it to your Zero Y or any other Arca Swiss, you know, tripod head. And now you have an F38 quick release system. So you push the button and the plate comes out. So really, really easy. Now you transformed your regular tripod with an Arca Swiss plate, you transform it into the F38 plate. And this is very useful because if you have more than one tripod and you decide to do go with this F38 system, then you want it to be the same across all your tripods. So you don't have to keep changing plates. So now if I use this one as my main tripod, but then I have, let's say, four other tripods that are Arca Swiss, I can just put these plates on it and now they all become F38 and it makes my camera changing from one to another so much easier. Now the second accessory I want to show you, it's the Ulanzi camera cage. And this is not just an ordinary camera cage. I had cages before from Small Rig and other brands. And this is special. I will show you why. Let me just install it really, really quick. And I will show you what sets this apart and why you might want it for, you know, your new tripod. All right. So here is my cage on my A7 IV. Now, what makes this cage so special? Well, the first thing is the fact that the, the plate on the bottom, it's built in. It's part of the cage. So that means it won't get loose. It won't twist around. You cannot forget it at home. You cannot lose it. It's just there. Not only that, but the plate on the bottom, it's an Arca Swiss compatible and an F38 plate. So it's really genius the way they designed this. So for example, I have my Komen Zero y, y over here and I can attach this with my cage to this tripod because it's an Arca Swiss compatible. And I can also put it on my, you know, F38 now, not only that this cage has this awesome uh, plate on the bottom, but also has plates on each side. That means you can, you know, position your camera in a portrait orientation and you can do some really cool portrait panoramas just like that. I don't want to get too much in details about this cage because this is not a review for the cage, it's for the tripod. But I want to show you how well they work together. And this cage is also awesome because it allows you access to all the ports over here. Versus, you know, if you use something like an L bracket from small rig, you cannot open the doors at your ports here. You will have to, you know, use this tool and loosen this thing and pull it out. And it just becomes a lot more complicated where this one just works. And it's so awesome that they put a um, plate on this other side over here because Often I'll find myself, you know, you'll take a image and portrait orientation, but if you mount it on this side, then you can have your shutter remote with a cable attached because you need to attach the camera and portrait orientation. And it's nice to know that you can mount your camera on the other side and you can still have all your cables or HDMI cables and whatever um, on the other side. So I don't know. I hope that makes sense. Another accessory I wanted to talk to you about it is the L bracket. L bracket, just like the cage, has that built-in Arca Swiss and F38 mount. This is amazing and also has another plate on the side. So this will allow you to just, you know, easily 
slide in your camera just like that it's locked and then you can remove it and then you can you know put it on portrait orientation just like that so l bracket and the cage it is a really really good thing to have now when i looked at yulance's website this morning i saw that they have cages pretty much for every camera out there so you should have not not have a problem finding the one for your camera but when it comes to l brackets they only have a few of them so you might not find the one for your camera now here is some good news for you this camera cage it does have screws to connect this side so it looks like it's like some star shaped screws so i don't have that on hand to undo it but it looks like you can just remove two of the sides and then you are left with an l bracket so I might have to try that, see if I can do it, but it looks like you should be able to do it with no problem. Also, both the L bracket and the cage has plenty of holes here on the side where you can attach any other, you know, um, plate for any other tripod head. So you should have so much versatility using this. So if you never bought a Yolanzi tripod before and you're wondering which one of these two should you buy, well, it really comes down with what you already own. If you already have a lot of tripods and plates that are ArcaSwiss compatible, then you might want to go with the Yolanzi and Coleman Zero Y because it is an ArcaSwiss, um, you know, mount. Now, if you want to just play around with the F38 mount to see if you like it and you're considering getting the other one, then you can just buy this system, put it on your Arca Swiss uh, tripod and just try it for a while. See if you like it. I do believe you will love it. I know I love it, but that would be a cheaper alternative for just trying it to see if you like it. Now, if you already bought the Zero uh, Y and you are jealous that the F38 system came out now, well, guess what? You can just buy the column. They do sell this column with the F38 system separately. So you can just buy that and attach it to your uh, Yulanzi Zero Y. And that will just basically make it to be the same tripod as this one. Now, if you are planning on using a cage or an L mount and you think you like this quick release system, that I do believe that the F38 mount with this new tripod it is the best one on the market right now. Now for myself, I am loving the quick release system on this new tripod. So because of that, I bought about seven of these F38 mounts that I am going to put on every one of my other tripods. That way when I am working, I don't have to think about what plate to use, which tripod. I will just, you know, any tripod will have the same quick release. And that's just going to make it so much easier to switch from one tripod to another. I hope this was helpful to you. And now you have a little bit more of a clear vision on which tripod is best for you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyla Ewing. I'll see you in my next video.